What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Pooski and welcome back to another video and let me tell you, finally the PBA is on to something, we're cooking with grease. The PBA recently came out with their TV schedule and they kind of had something weird on it called the PBA Elite League. Nobody knew what they were talking about, you know we of course know about the PBA League. Shot here. No, it's an autograph pick. This man, I'm let him on his belly. Opening shot of the PBA League. Uh, that they always have in Portland, Maine every year. It's a week long thing. And you know, we all go through league as bowlers. We all go through league. We go through league and it's long as on the way. Sometimes they have two halves. Sometimes it's just one fall and then spring, summer. But for the PBA, it's just a week and it's just like, okay, but eh. this time they decided, you know what? Let's go ahead and make it like a true league and let's put it throughout the season so throughout the season at each and every tour stop they will have match play games with the pba league teams i mean let's go ahead and <laughs> round of applause round of applause because this is a step in the right direction to, in order to get the pba to where it needs to be in the new modern day era last year i really noticed that pba still kind of is just getting by you know what i mean nowadays they need to take advantage of how fast the sport of bowling is growing i mean you got instagram bowlers tiktok bowlers youtube bowlers subscribe but you have all these people who are getting into bowling you have all these people who are watching videos on bowling you have all these people that are growing the game it's time for PBA to take advantage of it. I mean, NBA does it. They brought in all them people, bringing in creators. Then they teamed up with Tristan Jazz. They're uh, NFL destroying, having the one-on-ones. It's time for the PBA to do something like that because not only would that grow the game, not only would it touch new audiences, it's going to keep the game around longer. And we all want that for this sport. And if you watch on YouTube, and see the past PBA when they used to be on ESPN. Now they're on Fox, you know, and I got to say Fox, they do a great job. You know, they they got the LED board, which I love. Randy Peterson, he's getting better. He's getting more energetic because he kind of was slacking in the past few years. Let's go ahead and put it out now. Rob Stone is my favorite, even though Dave Ryan and all of them are great. Rob Stone is the bread and butter at it kimberly presley of course being the beauty uh and also asking great questions and being a great uh side lane correspondent but when they used to bowl in arenas i mean they bowled in a freaking mlb stadium literally the milwaukee brewer stadium they bowled there the mohegan sun arena in connecticut they bowled there I miss this type of stuff. South Point, when they had that nice little set. When I go to South Point next year, I'm going to be looking to see where they had those tournaments at because it wasn't in the main bowling center. And I don't think it was down in the other bowling center. So I've got to figure out which one it is. Maybe one day, hopefully, we can get back to that. But for right now, the PBA Elite League is a nice move into the right direction. And let's go ahead and get into what this PBA Elite League is. The PBA Elite League is literally a league. It has teams. You have the, let's go ahead and look it up because I don't want to get these names wrong and such. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, yeah, I actually took a screenshot, eh, sorry, 
Sorry. All right, so you have the Waco Wonders, you have the Portland Lumberjacks, Dallas Strikers, Las Vegas High Rollers, New Jersey Kingpins, the Akron Splitters, which they were the Silver Lake Adams Splitters, so that's a bit of a change in the name. We'll have to see what that name is all about, or that logo now. The Motown Muscle and the LAX. So you have a team of six bowlers, you have a team of six bowlers, and you bowl a Baker format match, meaning each bowler gets a frame and they bowl twice. So it's only, they're gonna have a sub player. So that's why that six player is there. But for each frame, a bowler bowls. So, so, oh, that's hard to explain. So how they're doing the PBA Elite League is that they're gonna have a best two out of three uh, match. So if one team wins one game and or wins two games in a row, match over, they win. Uh, so, and then I guess whoever the top six teams are, are going to move into a little bracket or so. Yes, the top six teams at the conclusion of the regular season will advance to the PBA Elite League Finals, which will be at Bayside Bowl, Portland, Maine. I hope I can go. Maybe I will just take that trip just to be there. Hmm. Y'all subscribe. Maybe I can have y'all help. Subscribe, please. But this is the thing that I love about the PBA Elite League. It will be 10 regular season matches on FS1. That means we will have more bowling on TV. We have a whole lot more bowling. Thank goodness PBA is really taking this Fox contract and actually using it. Because last year, you know, it was like a whole bunch on uh, Bowl TV. It was a whole bunch. But now it's like almost every week or or so we have bowling on TV. And we love it. We love to see that. They will be bowling at every tour stop. I do believe if I got that correct, every tour stop, there will be uh, matches for the PBA Elite League. Like I said, it is 10 regular season matches on TV, but then there will be other ones at other tour stops where the show isn't on broadcast on TV. It will be on bowl TV. Those matches will still happen too, except for on bowl TV. Now, here is some things and questions that I have about this. Will there be trades? Because in true league fashion, you know, it will be cool if it was like a breaking news uh, Motown Muscle make a big blockbuster trade EJ Tackett for uh, say Chris Prather but something like that like a big blockbuster news uh, trade you know maybe we'll have trades I hope I hope that would be a cool little thing in there the draft they will have an actual draft uh, they get to protect two players from this past year so each team would get it to protect two players and then there are two teams that won't be in it uh, no more the milwaukee pounders and the and the chicago breeze so those are free agents now the draft will be december 13th if you want me to live stream that y'all just like or comment down below because i'm willing to and i'm willing to actually throughout the whole pba season i'm willing to like do a video on each tour stop and how each player does and and go over the season just just doing a nice little video on each uh tournament which i wouldn't mind doing that would be cool that would be cool that would keep me in lock that would keep me locked in even though i'm already locked in but it will keep me truly locked you get what i mean but yes i am very very excited for this this pba elite league is going to be awesome i can't wait it's it's going to be hype it's going to be all the hype because Ooh, y'all don't sleep on it. Don't sleep. If you're not in tune with the PBA, this is the time to get in tune because they're moving in the right direction, people. We're, we're making moves. Everybody in the club, make it loud.